As much as I love selling on Fiverr, there's one thing that has frustrated me for a number of years. How do you add more demos to your gigs? I found a solution. I'll talk about it next. The Gig Doctor. Hey, it's Dane Scott from thegigdoctor.com, top-rated Fiverr seller, and today one of the things I've dealt with for years on Fiverr, the thought process that went into finding a solution to it, and what I've come up with. And it works great. Glad you could be with me today. Please like and subscribe. And in the comments today, tell me whether you think this idea might be helpful to you. It was kind of a no-brainer for me. All right, let's get to it. A little live screen action here. Cue the cheesy harp music. I do a lot of selling on Fiverr, do a lot of business on Fiverr. I've been on there since 2017, and at this point I've got like a whole ton of different gigs that I'm offering that uh, are various kinds of services, primarily voiceover, but then also the gig doctor and vocal coaching and some other things. But mostly it's all voiceover related. And uh, it's been fun, and uh, a lot of things I absolutely love about Fiverr, but there's one thing in particular that has bugged me for a long time. I'm going to go to one of my gigs here, and we'll hit preview. And, you know, if we scroll down, we see the gig image. And in this case, in addition to a gig image, the first slot here, I have a demo. So if I click on this, we invite you to join us on this musical journey. so there's the video that goes with the gig image. Now, do I want to be able to show more than just what's in my gig image video there? Yeah. And fortunately, Fiverr does give us, you know, a couple, actually three additional places like slots where you can drop more things that you'd like people to hear, or if it's a video to watch, or if it's graphics to look at and uh, analyze and so on. But it's only three. And, you know, since 2017, this has bugged me. <laughs> you know, I, I want to be able to share more examples of my work. And if I think of, you know, the people that are doing like graphic design, I would really, if I were a graphic design person, an artist, layout designer, anything like that, I would want to be able to show lots of examples of my work so people can really get a good idea of what I'm capable of. What I see people doing right now is, you know, in these slots, they'll have, say, like a, a ping, a PNG image, and they'll have six or seven images inside of that that all look like little postage stamps to represent the different kinds of graphics they can do. It's kind of sad. You know, it, they really, you want to be able to show them the big, luscious, beautiful pictures uh, so that they really get a good idea of what you do. If it's videos, the same thing. You know, how much can you pack into a minute and 15 seconds? And for, you know, even for video, if you have additional slots, those slots don't let you show more videos if you're a video producer. So you can see there's definitely a hole. There's like something that is missing on Fiverr. It's bothered me since I started in 2017. And I finally thought, okay, well, yeah, granted, there are things like the portfolio. If I scroll way, 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 way down, uh, I get to this portfolio, which, um, you know, is great. It gives me some additional slots where I can show some examples of my work. But this is, as I said, farther down in the gig, and it's only available to a few select sellers. It's not available to, I don't think, even uh, like, I don't know what the percentage is, but it's small. It's a small percentage that are actually, you know, getting to show portfolios. So it's not a, a super great option. Now, the other option is to go through something like SoundCloud. I have a real problem with SoundCloud. Uh, their interface is okay, but you, know, you put your images up, or rather your audio up there. Number one, you can't do anything but audio, but if you put your audio up there, um, it auto plays. So you get done with one, it just advances to the next, which may not be what you want. In addition to that, when it gets to the end of your list of items that you have, it starts playing somebody else's stuff. It actually goes to someone else who's offering audio and maybe even doing, say, the same stuff as you. And maybe it goes to a different voiceover person and starts playing their stuff. <laughs> I really don't care for the way SoundCloud operates, and I'm not really happy with their interface. Uh, then there are also just cloud services where you can share files. Dropbox, for example. Okay, the problem with something like Dropbox is, again, the interface is really kludgy. 
it's just a you know it's just a directory listing of files and then there's all these buttons all around like download and you know uh, security and all of these things it's not really designed to be a place to showcase people's work by any means it's just a, a directory listing of files and you know someone that may not be familiar with the layout there is going to be spending more time trying to figure out what to do than they are in listening and the whole thing doesn't really present you in a very good light in my opinion so yeah I wasn't happy with that either and I then I got to thinking to myself you know I have my own web server here it's actually located at my facility and uh, if I go to tunetrackersystems.com uh, that's my radio automation system that is actually served from right here you know off a computer right here in my building so I mean that's all I'm using it for right now is tune tracker and I thought Okay, I could set up a page for myself that's just off of the tunetrackersystems.com, um, like tunetrackersystems.com sample sites slash Dane. Okay, and that would take me to a take them the buyer to a folder where I could show as many examples of my work as I wanted. And this was very, very tempting to me because at this point I can I can actually do a layout that that looks beautiful, is sim simple, uh, it's very straightforward. Everything is right there. So I created this page. Now I don't take a good picture, so apologies in advance for that. But this is my gig image, and uh, here is my the heading on the thing. I'm calling it a a Fiverr sample site, right? Okay, and if we go down here, then there's also some written text to just describe me a little bit, and then we get down to the demos, and then these are all laid out very cleanly, a nice simple play button for each one. You can advance, you can go back, you can skip forward or back in the, uh, you know, it's got all of the nice controls, and so we go down through these, and if we go down just a little farther here, Look at this. Okay, so now this is a video. So let's say you had a bunch of demo videos. And maybe you're a video designer. Well, then you, mainly you're going to be wanting videos, right? So we've got that as well. And the thing that you won't see on mine, because I'm not offering graphic design on Fiverr, uh, you don't see any uh, graphic designs or, or images in here that I've designed or worked on. But you could do that, too. If you were a photographer, you could have a bunch of your photos. You know, so any kind of imagery is also possible to put into one of these these listings here underneath. So I was really happy with how this turned out. And then I also, the only link that I have in here points them back to my gig. So if I click on that, well, in this case, the it's a back, it acts like a back button. And the previous uh, thing that I was at was this. So it just dropped me back to there. But if I were to go back to, for example, this gig right here and uh, preview it. So now we're on this. And then we went to my site again. Uh, we'll go to tunetrackersystems.com, sample, site, Dane. Okay, if I click return to my Fiverr gig now, boom, it takes me right back to whichever gig I had come from. So it actually will work. You know, if I put a link in all of my gigs that point to that page and people paste it into their browser and go there, they will be able to return straight back to my gig and I'm not violating any rules by, you know, putting something in there like contact information. So I'm totally happy. It's like, yippee, this is great. But then I thought, you know, I better just make sure that Fiverr is not going to give me trouble about this. So I contacted my Fiverr success coach. And at this point, I was actually, you know, the, the wheels were starting to turn. And I was thinking, this is going to be useful to more than just me. So I contacted uh, Stephanie over at Fiverr, uh, who's a lovely person, and she was so helpful and so nice about it. And so she took my proposal to the powers that be on Fiverr, and they got back and they said, no problem. Uh, he can go ahead and do that. Just make sure that the only link in the gig or in the page takes you know, them back to the Fiverr gig, and there's no like contact information there. So it's totally closed circuit. We just go from the gig to here and then back to the gig again. And, you know, we're not violating anything. We're not either the letter or the spirit of the law. It's all 100% according to the way Fiverr wants things to function. And they were totally good with it. They even sent me um, a message that I could use uh, to show to you guys and to show to anybody who would ask, uh, indicating that, yes, this is totally okay. 
All right. So at that point, I thought, all right, all clear here. But the only thing I wasn't really crazy about was the idea of it was going to be tunetrackersystems.com slash sample site slash Dane or slash Jacob or slash whoever. Too long. You know, in, in my gigs, the description, I want to be able to pack as much stuff into these as I can, you know, all of the best keywords and, and wordings and stuff. So I don't want a really long URL that's going to be eating up those characters. We only get 1,200. So I wanted it to be short and to look more professional. So I went uh, to a GoDaddy and I actually did a search for available um, URLs or I should say domains. And guess what? moredemos.com was available. So it's like, yay, this is perfect. So I registered moredemos.com. So now, um, after doing a little bit of coding uh, on this end with the help of uh, Alex, a wonderful guy who gave me some assistance on that, um, when people go to moredemos.com slash Dane, it takes them to that same page. Okay, so there. Now, moredemos.com Dane. All right, so now we've got something that's very kind of slick, a professional, smooth, and it's also res called a responsive site, which means as you resize it down, it fits, it fits, it fits all the way down to the you know phone size and all the way up to web browser size. It fits fine. And so everything, I mean, all the machinery in place, and at that point then I uh, pulled the trigger on a gig. Let me go over to that gig here. And there it is. There's the gig. And uh, let me actually play this demo for you so that it kind of reiterates uh, the things I've been talking about. Hey, whether you're a photographer, an artist, a voiceover person, video producer, or pretty much any other kind of service provider, if you're on Fiverr, you have a problem. Fiverr only gives us three official demo items. Three. That's not much. That's why I created Fiverr Sample Sites. With a sample site, you can share as many demos and samples of your work as you like on a beautiful web page customized just for you. Your sample site can contain videos, audio such as voiceover samples. Introducing to America, the new Alfa Romeo Julia. Images such as photography, or a mixture of audio, video, and pictures, whatever you like. I'll include your gig image, your own promotional text, and a special link you can place right in your gig description pointing people to your sample site page. And no worries, my sample site service has been approved by Fiverr. And since I own the server, I can host these for you for almost nothing, starting at $3 a month. And I'll create your customized sample site page free. Order now and let's get started. So this is another one of those situations where you start out with a problem. Okay. And then you think about solutions and you come up with a solution and you say, you know what, this would actually be useful to a lot of people, not just me. At that point, you have not just a good solution for yourself, but a good potential service that you can offer to others. That's a good way to approach things on Fiverr, no matter what it is. I'll wrap this up by saying that down in the show notes, you can get a link to this gig that I just showed you and a link to Fiverr's approval letter. In case you want to take a look at that hope you'll comment today tell me what you think of this idea and also uh, like and subscribe because we have lots of these coming up all the time and there are actually a couple coming up for you right after i get done talking here so watch the trailer for links to two other cool videos we'll talk to you next time